My bonding proposal is about putting thousands of unemployed Minnesotans back to work. Some of the men and women who are here today, I thank them for being here to witness how important this bill is for the future of unemployed Minnesotans. The bill is also about investing in the future of our state for ourselves, our children, and our grandchildren, Mrs. Generation. One national study claims that a $1 billion bonding bill creates 28,000 jobs. The math says then that a $775 million bonding bill, which I'm proposing today, would then create up to 21,700 jobs. Skeptics can divide and, and doubt, but the indisputable fact is that this bill would put many thousand Minnesotans to work. And almost all of those jobs would be in the private sector something that is not understood by everyone in the two chambers upstairs. These public investments create private sector jobs. Uh, so happy governor to chose our institute uh, expansion for the uh, total we request is 13.5 million. And uh, the total project, uh, this one is uh, 25 million. And we'll, we will create uh, uh, not only the construction job right away, but also will create uh, more than 120 new jobs, you know, for, uh, forever uh, to uh, Austin, Minnesota. So um, these jobs are high-tech jobs, it's a medical research job, and uh, this uh, it's not easy to, you know, bring this job to, to Austin, to rural area of Minnesota. So we are so happy and so proud, uh, you know, we can be part of this uh, uh, bonding bill. And the rest of the construction uh, and the money is already uh, uh, fundraised by the uh, local community from the private uh, uh, fundraising activities. I think the, the chore and the, the real challenge here is to invest in programs that build the infrastructure for the state, that help create jobs now, that help our positioning in the future, and really speak to the core va values of the state. I think the governor's package does that, and uh, that is what we'll be presenting uh, to the legislature in bill form as well. You know, there are projects that are ha hammer ready. They just need to be approved, and the, the bonds sold, and that can be done, and the, the projects can be underway this construction season. So, you know, if, if they want to cooperate and be supportive of, of these as important job creating initiatives, and if they have some of their own ideas, that's fine too. But just to criticize whatever it is offhandedly, I think, is not contributing to the end result, which is to put uh, people back to work in Minnesota.